guys, guess what? We are up here in my new, well, soon to be YouTube studio. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm gonna just show you. Where is he? My new puppy. I absolutely was not planning to do this video. And I know right now I'm absolutely not looking at the camera the right way. I don't have my mic on, so I'm just talking into the iPhone. But um, bear with me while I set my little tripod down. So um, this is Bijan, everybody who's just getting ready to, thank God, finally take a nap. And that means I can finally put my makeup on. And I have some new customers of mine who have been asking me to show me, show them how I do my saint makeup. And so I thought, what, what the heck? I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup here in my new, so here's the deal. This is one of our upstairs bedrooms. Um, we are turning this into what's going to be a YouTube studio. So you can see I've got like a backdrop there that we're setting up. Um, over here, we've got a full length mirror. We've got, this is, this is actually going to be furnished up in here. This is the very beginning stages. Um, and what I'm sitting at right now, I'm going to show you guys later. Maybe I'll pan out at the very end. Um, but I'm sitting at a really nice, and I'm so glad I bought it, um, makeup vanity. Well, let me just turn around and show you. It's really, really nice. I've never had a makeup vanity like this before. And um, the lighting is so nice. So while I have the dog, the puppy, who is very high maintenance right now, um, while he's here, I am just going to do my makeup uh, and record it. I've done one other makeup tutorial in the past, but that was before I switched over to using Saint Makeup. So um, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I have several, like I said, new clients who wanna see how I do um, my Saint Makeup. I did do a Saint Makeup review and I pulled in some, um, some Saint footage, excuse me, I'm just doing a stretch. Um, but that Saint footage had a filter on it. Um, and so I wanna show you guys exactly how I put my makeup on and then I'll, you know, maybe just go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and I'll probably speed this footage up so you guys aren't like, this is so bad. Um, I'll speed this footage up so that you uh, aren't bored to tears, but I'll show you exactly how I put this on. Um, that way my customers who are like, hey, I need to know exactly what you're doing, um, can see it, you can see what brushes I'm using. I'm not saying that this is necessarily the exact right way to do it. One of the things that I know about uh, Saint artists is everybody has their own technique. Um, the thing about me, when I joined uh, Saint, I went ahead and I'm just gonna show you guys. I bought literally, I think like every shade. So here's my Saint collection. I have, and you can see which ones I've used more than others. But here's a whole like bunch that I've never used. You can see that I tend to use more cool colors. Um, so these are the ones I use for, you'll see my contour. Um, this is what I used in the beginning. I don't really use it anymore. For like my base color, this is what I use for more of my contour. This is my highlight. Um, this is my bronzer. Um, and then, oh, that's eyeshadow. These are, I bought like all of the, these are the blushes I use. This is my favorite blush. There's a whole bunch of stuff I haven't even figured out how to use yet. Um, these are the eyeshadows that I bought so far. There's, I, I use this palette a lot. I'm getting ready to order a lot more. Um, these are some more sparkly ones that I really love. Um, oh, and look, here's some, uh, some more shades. In fact, this I think is the contour. I forgot how much I ordered. I ordered like, like I said, um, when I order stuff, I like order everything. I kind of go big or go home. But anyway, ever since, um, let me, 
For those of you who are watching, let me explain what Saint Makeup is, how I discovered it, why I switched to it, what I like about it, and then I'll go ahead and start putting my makeup on and we'll dive into it and then we'll wrap it up. And of course, if any of you have any questions, you can let me know. So um, prior to using Saint Makeup, I used, you know, and I still shop at Ulta. I still buy all different kinds of brands. I don't exclusively use Saint Makeup. I still buy a ton of other brands. Um, some of my favorite brands are Anastasia for brows. Um, I use Arbonne um, eyeliner. It's my favorite for mascara. I use, I'm, an, I'm a mascara whore. I use all kinds of different mascaras. Uh, Urban Decay is one of my favorite uh, makeup brands. In fact, that's what I put on my, uh, for my primer, for my eyeshadow. Um, I use MAC makeup for, for lips. Um, but for foundation, that's what I'm talking about for when I say Saint makeup. Um, I do use some Saint um, eyeshadow as well. Um, they do have um, great eyeshadow. I really, I am beginning to really like their eyeshadow. But the deal is, is um, previously I was using liquid foundation and a lot of different products to do contouring. And I loved the ultimate end look, but it, was a, it took a long time to achieve the look. And I always felt like I had so much product on my face. I felt like if I went to go hug somebody that, I don't know, I just kind of felt like if I, somebody even came near my face that, you know, there was just so much product that it would just, you know, rub off, right? And I, I didn't like that feeling. I didn't like how much product I had to pack when I would go on a trip. And um, so what happened is I would follow a lot of beauty influencers on Instagram and I was always tuning into tutorials and it just so happened over a long period of time that the influencers that I was tuning into well, that were doing like contouring tutorials or makeup tutorials, sorry, I keep having to stretch. My back is bothering me. Um, they were, they, they would always be using, you know, brushes like this and doing stuff. And I kind of started to notice, like, I wonder if these people are using the same makeup. And then I started to look at their hashtags and I started to see this word saint. And um, then I realized, okay, this is the name of the makeup. And then I started to look up the makeup. Um, and that's when I realized, okay, I finally, I've got to try this makeup. Um, and everybody was talking about like 3D foundation, cream makeup, blah, blah, blah. Long story short is I decided I wanted to buy the makeup. And um, then when I found out it was a direct sales company, I'm like, why just buy the makeup? You know, why not become a, a distributor so I can get uh, the discount? And I knew that it was something, I just had a feeling because I'd already been watching these influencers for so long. I just had a feeling I was gonna really love it and that I'd be recommending it to my followers. So I kind of made the leap. I, I tend to know when I'm gonna really like something. So that's what I did. I signed up uh, as a distributor. I bought all the products, all the brushes, all the stuff. And sure enough, um, I got it home. I will tell you this, there's absolutely a learning curve when you first get this. If you're used to taking liquid makeup, putting it in your hand, you know, putting it on your face like that, I, I'm liquid makeup. It's, it's like the difference between liquid paint, you know, painting a, a wall with, with paint and, and spray paint that, that just think of the difference of of how spray paint comes off on a wall versus liquid paint the texture that's almost how I describe the difference of what comes out of a bottle versus what you're going to be putting on your face that's that's how thin this is and it's very very weird because you think you need to put so much more of this stuff on your face and you don't so I do remember that like the first week I was putting so much more of the stuff on my face and then it looks very cakey. It looks very thick and you're like, this looks weird. And then you're freaking out, but you get the hang of it. And I did get the hang of it. And now I love it. Um, every time I put this makeup on, as I'm putting it on, as I'm blending it, I find myself, it's like, it's like a transformation watching my face in the mirror. 
I enjoy putting my makeup on. I'm 52, I enjoy putting this makeup on and watching how much better I look as I put it on. I feel better because I don't feel like I have so much crap on my face. Um, I feel better because, I don't know, it just, I feel like I can be out in, in daylight and, and no one's gonna look at me and go, like how much stuff do you have on your face? And yet I still look like fully Kardashian contoured and, and amazing. I just, I, I love it. It has the greatest airbrushing, photoshopping look effect on your face. Um, honest to God, I feel so strongly about it. I am literally telling every woman I know about it. I'm like, every woman I know has to get this. Yes, it's a learning curve to go from what you've been using with liquid to this, but it's so worth it. Um, Cause every woman I know that's made the shift is like, I'm obsessed with this. I love it. The coverage is amazing. The other thing too is like, I'll just say this. And I said this in my other video. I have, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think it's showing up. Do you guys see this? Like I have really bad melasma on my neck. Um, I think it's partially from years of sun damage, partially from being on the pill for all of these years partially from hormone damage. Um, and then also I had um, a, a treatment from a practitioner in Austin and she did this treatment on my neck and it just went horribly bad. And ever since then I've had like just, ever since then I've had this discoloration on my neck. And when you'll see when I put this makeup on my neck, which I used to hate the idea of putting makeup on my neck because I thought, oh, it's gonna come off on my clothes and all this. It covers this up, but I don't feel like I'm gonna, I don't, I don't have makeup coming off on my clothes. It just, it's wonderful. Um, and, and it makes me feel better because I don't feel like I have this embarrassing, you know, stuff. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do, how it blends. And then um, for any of you that have questions, leave them in the comments below again. Um, I'm happy to help you out. I am relatively new to Saint, but um, happy to help you guys with my upline um, get color matched. What that means is you send in a picture of yourself with no makeup on, just like I have right now, and we help you pick out your own specific set of colors. So you have like a starter pack with your contour, uh, your highlight, your like a bronzer, like basically a starter pack so that you can get, you know, however little or however much makeup to start, but you have, you know, your basic starter pack of makeup and brushes and it's, it's the right colors for you so that you can get your foundation, um, look with the right colors, um, match to you and, and, and to your skin tone. Um, that's what a color match is. So um, again, I, I'm a distributor for the company. Um, we can get you started. Um, and what I do is because I'm new to this, I have my upline, Michelle, who's a makeup artist. She's fabulous. She's freaking gorgeous too. Um, she would help me with that. Um, so just leave comments uh, down below and we would get you started with that. Um, you will love it. Um, so again, let's get started. Now, I don't, one of the number one questions that I get from new customers is, and I hope this is okay with you, so I've got my mirror in front of me. Instead of looking here, I'm gonna look straight ahead. 